All right, y'all, what's good, man? Self Made Life TV. We're going to break down the fight, man. We had Chris Colbert versus King Tug. Um, good fight, you know, given the fact that King Tug came in on the week notice. So um, I didn't really expect a lot of them, a lot out of them. He did give a good third round where he had a flurry. Had Colbert up uh, on the ropes, and he had a couple moments early in the fight. But besides that, man, um, it was a dominant win by Colbert. Um, the kid can box, man. The kid definitely can box. Good movement, good feet work. Um, King Tug has been on the winning streak. I think he's been on a two two fight winning streak since the Gary fight. So he was coming in with a little momentum. But like I say, um, given the fact that he replaced Gamboa. I kind of knew after the sixth round, you kind of seen Tug activity. He wasn't active to begin with, but after the sixth round, you kind of seen his activity. Um, his um, activity just kind of go lower than what it was. But yeah, um, Cobra was great, man. One thing I like about Cobra, that jab was working, man. He was working that jab all night, flicking, flicking Tug head back all night with that jab. Never really found the answer for it. Um, you know, some people are going to have some negative things to, to say about this fight, but I think it was a good quality win. You know, he, he's still trying to build his career. So I think, you know, with Tug having the name he had, and um, overall, like, the fight even has replay value. Like, I wouldn't mind going and watching the fight again just because he was just putting in good work in this fight, you know, going to the body, back to the top. Um, he, he walked him down some. You actually seen him get hit. That's another thing. I haven't really seen uh, Cobra yet. He got hit a couple times, I'm not going to lie, against his uh, some tough prospect before I ask, you know, just a higher name person touching him up. So uh, that was good to see, too. He got a little chin on him. Tug definitely touched him multiple times in his body. So, you know, that was good to see. But, um, yeah, overall, like I said, dominant win, man. Looking forward to see what's next. You know, he's in the 130 division, so does have some options over there on the PBC side. I don't know about a title shot or anything like that, but, you know, he should be able to find a, a, another quality opponent, you know, to fight next. Um, definitely want to see King Tug again. Um, I think they need to, uh, Al Heyman, need to go on ahead for Nessa. We need to get King Tug an intern belt or something, man. They say Mongolia uh, only got, I think they said they only got one champion or something, or they never had a champion. Either one of those two don't was called me, but, King Tug, to me, looking like a money play. That, that Mongolian fan base, I didn't see him for like three fights. The Gary fight, this fight on short notice, and probably his other two, but he, uh, he had a fan base, man. That Mongolian fan base definitely travels with him. So I'm just looking at on the business side, I can see King Tug getting the title shot in Mongolia, and I think selling out just because he's been shown. He's kind of like that, uh, I can't think of the dude's name, uh, Damn heavyweight. I think it's Polish heavyweight. Konaki, uh, he got knocked out. Adam Konaki, yeah. He got a nice fan base that travels with him, so it's kind of similar. Now, Adam's a little larger, but um, I can definitely see King Tug getting the title shot back at his, his home spot. That would that'd be something, something fun to watch. But, um, yeah, that's about it. Um, I didn't check the scorecards or anything. I kind of wanted to make the video because it's late, and y'all can hear it on my voice. Your boy tired, man. Gotta grab some food though, but uh, yeah, that's about it, man. I'm trying to think and make sure I ain't forgetting nothing. Um, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I guess one negative we would say is uh, that that you definitely gonna hear about is the lack of power. Now coming into this fight, Chris only has six knockouts, so I think if you really know him and you watch the fight, you know that he's not a power puncher. So you more you know kind of watch his fight for the science of it, you know. You want to see the sweet signs, definitely watch this fight because you just go see some good work. He does good things in there. And as we see him fighting higher levels, we see different sides of him. Now, he was switching, and that was when, to me, King Tug had his most success when he was switching stands. So I don't know if that's something he's going to continue to do, but that definitely was uh, where King Tug took advantage with some of his counters and, you know, some of the uh, body shots that he was able to get in there. 
But um, yeah, as far as the power, like I said, he's not a power puncher. So will that come into play? Maybe, but I don't know because the way he touches you up, you know, almost like the Devin Haney. They say the same thing about Devin Haney, where Devin Haney ain't got no power. But when you're getting touched up like that, and obviously, you know, because if a person ain't got no power, that means you can walk them down. Or that means you're more willing to engage. And like I said, with both of them, with Cobra and Haney, the big rack knock on them, even for uh, Tyson Fury for a minute, was that, you know, pillow hands and all that. But if boxers not willing to just jump in the inside and exchange, then it got to be enough pop. To me, in boxing, you just need enough pop to keep your man, to keep your man, you know, uh, respecting you. You definitely do need power, but if you can have enough pop to keep a man respecting you, then you can definitely win a fight, you know? Because King Tuck had opportunities in this fight to, um, he definitely had opportunities to get on the inside and get some work done, and he never did. So, obviously, you know, Colbert got some type of power. Like I said, he ain't, the power, uh, he ain't no power puncher, but he, he can get the job done, man. But um, y'all definitely uh, check out the fight, man. Leave y'all comments. Let me know, man. I'm out. Something like TV. Oh, yeah, follow the IG, too, man.